Am I the asshole? For not defending my wife wanting to attend a funeral with our baby, thus causing her to miss it? My wife and I have a six-month-old baby girl. Due to postpartum anxiety, which she is being treated for, my wife struggles with leaving our daughter with anyone outside myself or my mother, who lives with us. This hasn't been an issue thus far and as I said, she's in therapy so little by little, it's been getting better. Unfortunately, my nephew who was also six months old passed away a few weeks ago. He had been in poor health since birth but it's still obviously devastating for the entire family, especially my brother and Sil. They held the services the following weekend. I was in consistent contact with my brother and we were discussing the funeral. He said he knew it was a lot to ask, but could we please not bring our daughter? I said I completely understood and didn't even intend to. 1. In my opinion, babies do not belong at funerals. 2. This is a funeral for a baby of a similar age. Why would one want to bring up that reminder? My brother said he knows how my wife is about leaving the baby so they understand if she can't come. Well, my wife became irritated when she found out I didn't defend her. She reminded me that she doesn't trust anyone to take care of the baby outside me and my mom, who obviously have to be at the funeral. She doesn't want to miss it either, but also won't agree to leave the baby with anyone else. We have several family members on her side that we are close to, as well as good friends who also have kids. I said even if she just went to the service and not the gathering afterward, that'd just be an hour. She said no, she can't handle the thought of leaving her with anyone else. I said that's understandable and that clearly, my brother and Syl would rather her not come if it means not having a baby at the funeral. She continued to complain. Finally, I said she has two choices and she needs to make one, I don't care which it is. I won't hold it against her either way. 1. Either allow someone else to watch the baby for an hour. Two stay home with the baby. She says that I'm not even pretending to be on her side and I said I'm not, because this isn't even about us. My wife ended up staying home with the baby. When my mother and I returned later that afternoon, she shut us both out. Eventually, she calmed down but she has made comments here and there making it clear that she feels I should have tried to convince my brother to let the baby come. Am I the asshole? not the asshole. The one most important factor is this. Your brother, who is having a funeral for his infant son, has asked that your baby not be at the funeral. Nothing else matters. Not the asshole. It would have been insensitive of your wife to take the baby to the funeral of a child the same age. We should stand by our partners when they are in the right, not not when they are wrong or when their actions would hurt others. Not the asshole. How on earth could you go against your brother's wishes? But could one of you attend the service, and the other attend and the gathering after? That doesn't sound feasible either does it? It's just a really impossible situation. Not the asshole, guess what people, a baby's funeral is not about you. Whatever the parents want, including everyone showing up in clown shoes is the least you can do. Not the asshole you were making the funeral about your family's loss. Your wife was making it about herself. I'm so sorry for your family's loss. Not the asshole. Postpartum anxiety is brutal and wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. But the anxiety doesn't get to tell others what to do. Op you gave her two reasonable choices and she made her choice. So sorry for your family's loss. Not the asshole. There is nothing to defend. This is a request of grieving parents and they come first at their own child's funeral. Not the asshole, any request that a grieving family makes should be honored. Her mental issues must be much larger than you're showing here if she is so out of touch with reality to think that the grieving parents would be okay with a baby of the same age there while their little one is in a coffin in the ground. Not the asshole you handled it well, I hope her mental health continues to improve. Not the asshole. Such a tough situation but does your wife really want you to tell the grieving parents that her baby should be allowed? I am so sorry for your loss. 
not the arsehole bringing a reminder of their child to the funeral is in poor taste. Not the arsehole. Grieving parents supersede anxious aunt. Not the arsehole. She needs to understand the only relevant feelings in this situation is that of the grieving parents. Not everything is about her. Her entitlement is appalling. Not the arsehole. Your baby's presence at the funeral would have been more hurtful than your wife's presence could ever have been comforting, and you should explain it to her that way. Not the arsehole. Your wife is a huge one, though. If she can't pull her head out of her own butt enough to have any shred of sympathy for someone who is burying an infant, her opinion really doesn't matter. At all. God. Not the arsehole. I think she is stunningly selfish and insensitive. Fine if she didn't want to go but the dramatics are over the top. Not the arsehole. This isn't about your wife. This is about supporting your brother and his wife and honoring their deceased infant. Not the asshole, you did the right thing. Postpartum anxiety or not, wishes of the deceased's parents need to be respected. Natar. You were right. This wasn't about her, or defending her at all. It was about complying with the wishes of grieving parents. This a problem for therapy, not you. Not the asshole. If there is a reason to miss a funeral, this is it. She can talk about it with her therapist. Not the arsehole. Natar. She can't see it now but taking your baby would have been cruel to the people who lost theirs. Not the arsehole. I didn't leave my babies with anyone due to exclusively breastfeeding. However, I would have put myself in the grieving parents' shoes and been sensitive enough to not bring my same-age baby even if that meant me staying home. Not the asshole. What part of do not bring a baby to someone else's baby's funeral is she not getting? Does she think your brother and Sil are just gonna be cool with seeing your wife holding her baby? Not the asshole. Your wife is dealing with a lot right now I understand that, but I have been to a young child's funeral. It's far better that she didn't go tbh, with or without the baby. You wife is an R. Not the asshole your wife is behaving tremendously selfish. I hope this kind of behavior isn't a common occurrence. Your brother lost his child and all you wife can think about is herself. She ought to be truly ashamed of herself. It's not about you wifey. Not the asshole. The request not to bring the baby makes complete sense. Totally understandable. Wife needs to stay home. Like you said it's not about you too. Not the asshole. That was very thoughtful of you. My condolences. Easy not the asshole here. The grieving parents have to take priority. Natar. She should be thankful her child is living and let it go. Not the asshole. Postpartum anxiety or not, your wife is being selfish and behaving as though the world revolves around her, her wants, and her desires. It does not, and postpartum anxiety doesn't excuse or justify that. Wow. NGL, I think this is really shitty of your wife. I really hope her therapist can help her see where this is shockingly rude unfeeling of her.